The following religious program is being brought to you by the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. The contents of this program are solely those of the sponsor. Greetings everyone, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Worldwide Truth of God television program is now on the air and comes to you from the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ with international headquarters at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in the United States of America. In this and all our programs, you will hear the Word of God preached in its purest form from the Holy Scriptures by the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings. So join us each week at this time to hear Pastor Jennings preach on a variety of subjects, all of which point you to God's call to true holiness. Join Pastor Gino Jennings of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ for our 27th International Convocation and our 31st Pastoral Anniversary at the P.S. DuPont Middle School, 701 West 34th Street, Wilmington, Delaware. Services are Friday and Saturday, July 24th and 25th at 7 p.m. and Sunday, July 26th at 11.30 a.m. and 5 p.m. The location again, the P.S. DuPont Middle School, 701 West 34th Street, Wilmington, Delaware. For event information, call Cindy Rawlings at 252-341-9358. Attention followers of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ in the Bronx, New York area. Starting August 2nd, we are holding weekly services at the Lehman College Campus, 250 Bedford Park Boulevard West, Bronx, New York, Gillette Lecture Hall 226. Services are every Sunday at 11.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Services are free. So join us at the Lehman College Campus, 250 Bedford Park Boulevard West, Bronx, New York, Gillette Lecture Hall 226. Sundays at 11.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. For information, call 252-341-9358.
take the Bible guaranteed, brother, I'm able. If I'm able to take the Bible and prove you a liar, then all of your preachers on the island, including the woman preachers, you got to rid yourself of your credentials. You got to turn all of your churches and assets and members to the truth of God. This is how much confidence I've got in what I'm putting down. Glory to God, because it is delivered unto me, first of all, that which I also receive. You see, when Brother Gary first was talking, he said that Pastor Jennings had, uh, he inherited the truth of God. That's right. I inherited from the former apostles who got it from God. Now, record me. Get a lawyer. Make it binding. Make me sign it. I sign it gladly. Pick the location of your choice. I don't even care where it's at. Amen, because I'll beat you in the jungle or in the woods like a wood in your own church. And bring the cameras to you that wrote this article in the Gleaner. You come. Bring all your cameras. I'm challenging every preacher in Jamaica that endorse woman preachers that says they have a place in the church. I agree that women do have a place in the church, but it's not in the pulpit. of it. The word of God says the head of every woman is who? A man that's a real man is the head of his house, is he not? So if you're the head of your house at home, how did you become the tail in your church? Get ahead at home. How did you become the tail of that church? Now, there's any men that don't accept this challenge. It shows you ain't got confidence in what you're saying. I don't care if you're seven-day Adventist. I don't care if you're Pentecostal. I don't care if you're non-denominational. I don't care if you're Rastafarian. I don't care if you're Mormon. I don't care if you're Pentecostal. I don't care if you're Apostolic. I don't care if you're African Methodist Episcopal. I don't care if you're Christian Science. Think of it. The truth of God is challenging every religion on the island. Amen. And we are declaring that the belief of woman preaching is a lie, yes. it's a myth, yes. it's wicked, it's not scriptural, and I dare any preacher, I dare you to stand behind it. If you don't do it, you have proven to your congregation to be a coward, to be weak, not to be a preacher. It's easy to write this, I'm not in town. Come and get Pastor Jennings. I dare you to show up. I make you lift up your woman preachers from one part of this island to the other. Are you listening? And I do a very complete job. So, I want to encourage you now. Come on out. And I. God has never called and sent a woman to preach the gospel. All preachers that say that he did are liars. Did you hear what I said? Notice I didn't stutter. I said, all preachers here in Jamaica in the world that says God called to send women to preachers to preach are liars. You husbands that got wives for women preachers, why don't you come protect your wife from what I'm preaching? Come on and protect your wife from what I'm preaching. I'm saying you can't even protect your own wife from what I'm preaching. Think of it. Here's a man on television telling you you're a coward if your wife is a woman preacher. If you don't show up and protect your woman, Amen. I'm going to listen. I'm going to take your woman out the pulpit. Right. You hear what I'm telling you? I'm going to take your woman out the pulpit. Now, what are you going to do about it? 
I'm going to take your wife out the pulpit. I'm going to take your mom out the pulpit. I'm going to take your daughter. I'm going to even take your second wife out the pulpit. What are you going to do about it? You think I'm just talking? Just bring it. I want all the preachers in Jamaican Island here in Jamaica to get this. And I'm not playing. I'm saying the truth of God is the only gospel that God gave as a pastor. And that is that Jesus said that's what he came for. Yeah. Jesus said himself. He come for the truth of God. I want to read this so folks don't think I'm making this up. In the book of Romans chapter 15 and at verse 8. Now I say, listen at the Apostle Paul, Romans chapter 15 and at the 8th verse, now I say, now I say, that Jesus Christ, that Geno Jennings, that Jesus Christ, that Geno Jennings, that Jesus Christ, so you can't blame me, Amen. that Jesus Christ was a minister, was, glory to God, glory to God. He was a minister for what? Of the circumcision. Of the circumcision. For. For. The truth of God. Amen. Why you got all these false prophets in Jamaica on your side? Because they're scared of the women here on the island. My Lord. And I have Jesus on my side. That's right. So yes, I want all of you, that's was interviewed by the journalist, and again, to the journalist, I, I, I'm grateful that you watch the telecast, keep watching, and please, when this challenge is issued, don't, don't, don't see me, and please don't get messed up, I don't want no lines, no blackout, no slur, I don't want no uh, methods come on the screen, please, then we have a technical difficulty. <laughs> Are you listening? Yes. All right, let's go to work in the book of Leviticus. Yes. And let's work on facts. Thanks. Amen. Amen. Notice the frowns that some men make when we speak against homosexuality. Some say, Pastor Jennings, it's in demand now. You are behind the times. Get over it. In order for me to change, God has to change. That's right. There's nothing on a man that's made for a man. No. Now, I want to itemize this, and we're going to get raw. Oh, yes. I want to say to all of you that are watching that got a homosexual husband, daughter, wife, father, son, grandpappy, grandma, pastor. Let them get close to the television because they come in all categories now. Amen. I want the book of Leviticus. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, and we're at verse 13. That's it, good. Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. All right. If a man. If a man. Also lie with mankind. Also lie with mankind or his own kind. As he lieth with a woman. As he lieth with a woman. Both of them. Both of them. Have committed an abomination. Hold it. What I want to deal with as you lie with the woman. As you lie. As you lie with the woman. You got a woman, just you know how you lie with her. Right. You know the variations of ways that you can lie with her. That's right. I look to the old man. Who, why are you saying this in church? Because the Bible says, If a man also lies with mankind, if a man also lie with mankind, as, as, he lies. as comparison. That's right. Is comparing the wicked deeds of a man with 
with the justifiable deeds he has with his wife, his woman. That's right. As he lied, that let you know that it ain't meant to be. Right. So the Bible calls it a abomination. Abomination. In the book of Genesis, the Lord our God declared that a man will leave yeah. father and mother. And this is way back in Genesis. In the book of Genesis chapter 2. I want everyone to listen good. Amen. Everyone. Amen. All right. In the book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 23. Right, verse 22. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman. The rib that the Lord God made took from man made he another man. Made he a woman. No, made he another man. Made he a woman. No, he made another man. Made he a woman. Then what? And brought her. Brought him. Her. Him. Her. Read it right, Williams. You got glasses on. And brought her. Him. Her. She, he. Her. I didn't think that. A transsexual. And brought her. Brought her where? Onto the, the man. Amen. Now, preachers. Who say you are messengers of God. God brought the woman to the man. That's right. Establishing who is meant for who. Yes. That's right. Establishing relationship. Right. Establishing relationship because the man put forth and the woman brings forth. That's right. Are you listening? Adam is called the first father. first father. Eve is called the mother of all living. That's right. He said how the woman shall be in childbearing. Let's read this. In the I want to lay ground on everywhere I travel. Everywhere I travel, we want to follow the Bible brick road. Follow the Bible brick road. That's right. Follow the follow the follow it. I want every homosexual man, woman, priest, apostle, reverend, bishop, Democrat, Republican, President, Queen, Mayor, Governor, Mailman, Policeman, Fireman, Musician, Entertainer, R and B singer, rapper. Any rapper, any R and B singer, any entertainer that endorses same-sex marriages should not be patronized. No, no ticket should be bought. To watch them perform. Any man or woman run for office that endorses same sex marriages should not be voted for. That's right. Any preacher that have a rainbow flag on his church. Condoning same-sex marriages. Yeah. No one should be a member of that church unless you just as perverted as your pastor. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. I want to take my time and soak you a little. In the book of Genesis chapter 3 and in verse 16. Now, out of all this Bible, you know what people look at? They look at all that Pastor Genesis view. I just Pastor Jennings' view. He, he don't like homosexuality. I had someone write me and ask me, well, suppose you had a son that turned homosexual. Would you preach against it? Yes. Oh, yes. I have four sons, and if every last one of them wanted to be a homosexual, it don't change the Bible. No. All 
all four of my sons will go to hell. That's right. Because this wickedness is in your family, that don't make it right? No. No father should justify it because he got a gay son or a lesbian daughter. Amen. Who said it's wrong? God said it. God said it. God said it. God said it. Or it take God until you get God to change, then I'll change. That's it. Right. Yeah? That's right. Amen. Yeah. You can write me and cuss me out as you are doing. You can call the church and fill up the answering service with cuss words, as you do. Yeah. You can send me letters of threat continuously. Notice that I'm not moved. That's right. Listen at this. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 16. What is it? Unto the woman he said. Here, chapter and verse again. Genesis chapter 3 and I'm at verse 16. Unto the man he said. Unto the woman he said. Unto the man he said. Unto the woman he said. What did, what did, notice, God is doing all this talking. That's right. What did God say to the woman? I will greatly multiply thy sorrow. And? And thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. What? So God purpose that children come from the female. Yes. That's right. He brought the woman to the man yes. and then purposed that the woman will carry the child or children. That's right. And? And? Thy desire. And thy desire. He's still talking to the woman. That's right. He's still talking to the woman. Get chapter and verse. Genesis chapter 3 and read verse 16. Thy desire shall be, shall be to thy husband. Amen. God purposed that the woman desire the man. That's right. That's right. God never purposed that men desire each other. Oh, it's hard to say here, if all of us men were somewhere and there was an open shower, we should be able to shower and not worry about if someone dropped the soap. That's right. Am I right? We should not have to pick up a bar of soap and back up. No. Eve to Adam, mm -hmm. and then said that she shall be in childbearing. Mm -hmm. That ruled out two men or two women right. trying to be parents. That's right. And raise children. That's, That's right. right. Look how perverted the world has forgotten. Oh yes. The godly subject of marriage. to you black leaders Amen. of the world. If you listen to many of these homosexual leaders, they're saying that home, the fight for homosexuality rights is the same as civil rights, you liar. That's a lie. Yeah. That's right. I was born a black man. Yeah. So when civil rights in the 60s was really on the forefront, It's not an act. Being black is a color. Right. President Barack said on one lecture, should I say, he was given the homosexual community, he said that he understand their pain. My Lord. I'm preaching this in Jamaica. He said he understand their pain, and he said that the struggle of the homosexual is the same as the struggle of the 1960s, during the time Martin Luther King and the others were thrown in jail. Can you imagine? 
how low or how disrespectful and how hell deserving Amen. such a comparison can be. In the 60s, you had children on the forefront getting thrown in jail, fighting for rights to vote. They were discriminated against all because they were black. That's it, because the color of their skin. So black is not a behavior. Homosexuality is a behavior. And the book of the Leviticus is itemizing a behavior. That's right. Listen, that's a behavior. Back in Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. What is it? If a man also lie with mankind. If a man lie, that's a behavior, that's an act. Yeah. Yeah. To lie with someone is an act. That's They're right. doing something. It's not a color. It's something you do. Amen. Brother, how can you be moved looking at another man? He have no curves. That's right. I say he have no curves. How can you be moved looking at the shape of his lips, the color of his eyes? and the texture of his head, and the color of his skin, and the way he walked. That don't move a real man, am I right, man? Oh, talk back to me. Talk back to me. That's right. I can look at all the men in the world. I'm not moved. Now let me make it wrong. Why is a man nature getting hard? Looking at another man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. 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 Go ah
should not be a member of the government of Jamaica that should bow not even halfway. That's right. To the hypocrisy and the love of perverse things of America. America is an ungodly, wicked, hell deserving country. Oh, yeah. The only reason why God did not yet destroy Jamaica or rather America because there is some righteous folks there. But the righteous people has become weak. Some preach against it behind closed doors. They got a radio broadcast, they won't see nothing. They got a telecast, they won't say nothing. The preachers here in Jamaica that y'all see on television, have you seen any of them speak against homosexuality on television? The ones that's on television that call themselves apostles, did you hear them? Even the so-called women that believe they're preachers, do they speak against it? Think of it. Followers of these religions, got more courage, many of them, than the preacher. That's right. They are on the street speaking up, speaking out, demonstrating. While the preacher is taking the money from the gay industry. Amen. Yes. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Listen to what the word of God says. Let's go back to Leviticus. Back to Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. Everybody all right? Yeah. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman. No man shall be taking pictures of his body parts no. and sending it to another man. No, no. No man no. shall be taking pictures of his lower nature mm -hmm. sending it on a cell phone. Amen. Sending a picture on email. Yeah. Why would a brother in the church brother. Have a Facebook with naked pictures of himself. Posing for men. In fact, you ain't got no business having that. Sending it to women. All right. All right. When you follow in holiness and you have Facebook, nothing should be on that Facebook that's ungodly. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Should not be pictures of your breath. You should not be pictures of you even with a blouse showing your cleavage. Right. Nothing with your naked arms out, your naked back, yeah, your right. backside, your calf. Yeah, that's right. When you skype someone, they ain't your husband or wife, you should be fully dressed. Thou mayest be clothed. Do you hear this? In the book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 18. That thou mayest be clothed. That thou mayest be clothed. And that the shame of thy nakedness. That the shame of thy nakedness. Do not appear. Why in the world would you be Skyping someone, brother? And she's a sister or a man with no shirt on. Amen. Why would a sister be Skyping a man with a bra on? Lord. Or a see-through negligee? Yeah. That's right. Come on, I'm Skyping him so we can have prayer. Right. I don't feel that well, so I'm going to Skype him so we can have, we just want to have prayer. You don't want to have no prayer. You want to have play. That's right. That woman ain't your wife. You have the business even knowing what a person is like. Amen. That woman ain't your wife. You should never saw her thighs. That's right. That's that woman ain't your wife. The nakedness of her back, you should never be able to describe. Amen. That man ain't your husband. The size of his anatomy, you should never have knowledge of. Hold oh, to me. Yes. That's right. That's right. Just 
sister with your tongue. That's right. And a brother that's not your husband. That's right. Amen. Have no business making not even a gesture. You shouldn't even look at a brother and deliberately just. Am I right? That's right. That goes for you too, brother. Amen. Ain't no every email, yeah. every text message, every handwritten letter, every Skype, everything. It's supposed to be so clean that if Jesus come while you're texting, you can still be caught up. All right. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. What if God said by thy words? You're justified. And by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. And words are not other just from the mouth. All right. That's right. It is written, it is text, it is Skype, it is email. Every method that words can be brought into being yes. and to existence or so utilize have to be where it's not falling to condemnation. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Amen. This is the teaching of holiness. Yes. Yes. God, I know many of you are not used to this type of teaching in the church you come from. But holiness is like a girdle. Yes. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, when, when a woman put on a girdle, it's because she done gained some, some weight and she want to contain it. And so it, it eliminates the amount of flexibility. <laughs> yeah. Really? Amen. She eliminates the flexibility of the flow of things. So therefore, what a man normally would look at from left to right now, it, it minimizes the movement of such action. That's right. That's right. And it stabilizes his eyes. That's right. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. You see, I, I, I teach everything. Yes. Everything. Yes. And when a woman started getting meat on her, it's time to tie that stuff down. Keep it tight. In other words, you don't present yourself to give a man a reason to lust. Yes. That's right. I don't care if it's your daughter. When she started getting weight on her, it's time to change clothing. Yeah. It's just like a child. When a man become a man, he ain't wearing pampers no more and no. diapers. No. He wearing grown folk underwear. That's right. That's right. If a woman wear an upper girl, you call it a bra. Mm -hmm. Why? To eliminate flexibility. Yes. Yes. What else you think you need to put on? Right. To eliminate lower flexibility. Yes. Mm -hmm. In other words, when a woman walk in church, it shouldn't look like she's naked in her clothing. That's right. What if God has said that all things, all things, be decent and in order. And, in order. and that's indecent. And out of order. That's right. I thought girdle was for old folk. No. Girdle is for me. Yes. 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 That's what it's for. Yeah. Me. Yes. Yeah. To tie it down. Yes. Even though Bible called truth a girdle. That's right. Truth. It said, girdle of the law. That's right. Why it says girdle of the law is because many of us have too much flexibility. We're unstable. Right. So truth is a girl. Tie her down. That's right. And you old mothers, you're supposed to be teaching this to the young women. The young women. But how can you tell young women this if you just as loose as the young women? That's right. Tie your flesh down. Then right. tie down the next generation. That's right. My life flexibility is for me to see at home. That's right. At home, let me see. Right. East, west, north, and south. Right. Wherever you flow, I may go. Yeah. <laughs> at home, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. That's right. In public, no! Woman's body is to be tied. 
just like a man. He should not have pants so tight as gathering all around his private parts until you can see the indentation of it. That's right. That's perverseness. That's perverseness. Men in the house of God supposed to know how to sit. Amen. You don't sit like you laying in bed. One leg east, one leg west. Close your legs. Yeah. Whether you in the pulpit or in the congregation. Amen. Move your phone, brother. Sister, whenever you sit in the presence of men, sister, Never have your legs over each other. Right. See, when you have your legs over each other, you reveal the shape of your calf right. and the shape of your hips. Mm -hmm. When a sister's in the presence of men, she have her legs closed. That's right. Closed together. Not sitting like a dude. That's right. Brother, you have your legs together. Not sitting legs stretched open. Amen. Whenever you in public, any place, whether it's church or not, let all things be done decently and in order. Lord, dear God, I'm not bringing you nothing different that I don't bring every place else, including America. Right. My job to tell you everything. Right. And God knows I will tell you that just as sure as God is my helper. Amen. I listen. Right. All right, what's that? Back in Leviticus 20 and verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman. Now, a man come home and they kiss his wife after a long day work. Ain't no man got to be kissing a man after a long day work. No. 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 If I'm going to be at home with the apron on, I'm going to be helping my wife cook. That's right. That's right. I'm not going to be home with an apron on and another man coming in the door with a briefcase. Honey, I'm home. Honey. <laughs> There's any man here that find this offensive? It's because you got some sugar in you. Yes. That's right. Yes. You got spiritual diabetes. Amen. I use salt. Yes. Jesus says salt is good. Yes. This epidemic of homosexuality is an epidemic, it's a plague. It is nothing beautiful about two men no. holding hands. No, no. To all judges of the world who perform a same-sex marriage, you have challenged the decision of God. That's right. To the Supreme Court of America, Americans now are leaving it up to you to decide whether well, same-sex marriages is right. right. Who are you? Supreme Court supposed to be the highest law body in America. Yeah. Who are you to decide? Who are you? God had made the decision already. That's right. He made a plain how he made man and woman. That's right. And the reason why I spoke against it in the Old Testament is because this is how long it's been going on. That's right. It's not a new thing. No, no. Do you hear this? If a man also lie with mankind, as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. Now, how strict was it back then? They shall surely be put to death. Amen. No, they both show they will be given a license to marry. They shall surely be put to death. Imagine a man Amen. sending out wedding invitations. My Lord. Imagine a man standing in front my Lord, my Lord. waiting for another man to walk down the aisle. My Lord. Imagine people sitting in the audience crying Lord. Because of how beautiful it looks. How beautiful it is. <laughs> Imagine a good for nothing, hell bound, low life preacher. Go ahead. Standing there with the Bible. <laughs> saying, whom the Lord have drawn together. Right 
then you blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. That's right. Right there. Matthew chapter 19. I begin reading at verse 3. Get yeah, chapter verse again. Matthew chapter 19, we're at, and we're at the third verse. The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him, and saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read? Have ye not read? That he which made them at the beginning. What did he make them? Made them male and female. Male and male. Male and female. Male and male. Male and female. How many men here wouldn't mind marrying a man? Raise your hand so I can get you. That's right. How many men here straight? Raise your hand. Every man in here. In fact, do better than that. Stand on your feet. Are you straight? Go to school and try to kill another boy. 
of the right to say it. My mommy and daddy, he got to say, my two daddies, yeah. or my two mommies. And here, church people get upset with me and claim they believe the Bible. They don't believe no Bible. So because this is on the table, for real, here in Jamaica, yeah, yeah. all the truth of God, brothers, you got to stand firm yeah, yeah. and stand loud. Yeah, yeah. And all of you that love the truth of God got to stand firm yeah. and stand bold yeah. and stand loud. Yeah. If you lose your job over it, stand for God. Yeah. Except same sex marriage, they keep a job. If your boss sexually approach you, brother, he's a man, sue him. Sure. If a woman sexually approach you, sister, and she's your supervisor, sue her. That's right. Law made for the lawless. Is everybody all right? Yeah. So this message is not just dealing with the present. It's dealing with the past, the present, and what else? <laughs> Justin is our future. Yes. All of our children is the future. That's right. So let us look at what they're up against now. Do you know how many young kids in elementary school, middle school, high school, is hugging and kissing each other already? already. Same sex? Yeah. Do you know how many so-called Christian people have an attitude? Well, it doesn't matter. Just accept it. Yeah. The day I accept it is when God accepted. That's right. And I tell you right now, imagine if God accepted. I still would have problems accepting it. <laughs> I still have problems. If God himself appeared to me and told me, change, homosexual is right, I, I, I'm, I'm going to have a problem. You, you, you're, you're God? Prove it. You have to prove that to me. That's right. You can bring a strong wind and make the earth quake, and that still won't change my mind because the devil does that. Amen. He done that in Elijah's day. Yeah. Because if he would come and bring that, I'm going to bring scripture to him. That's right. The same word he left here. You said I'm a God that changed not. You said I'm a God that changed not. That's right. So you homosexual, you are liars. Brother, who said God gave that man to you? Yeah. Woman, you's a liar. To say God gave that woman to you. Have you not read? Listen. Back in Matthew 19 and verse 4. Have you not read? That he which made them at the beginning. He which made them in the beginning. Made there wasn't no homosexuals in the beginning. No. 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 You came along later. That's right. Mm -hmm. He which made them at the beginning. At the beginning, what was, what, what did he make them? Made them male and female. And? And said for this cause. The one, the creator of creation. Mm -hmm. Said for this cause. Shall a man leave father and mother, and now, shall cleave to his wife. Now, you men that are watching that love your own kind. Lord. None of you can say you got a wife when you get a man. No. That's why you downplay it and say we are partners. You're right, you're partners in crime. That's right. That's right. Some of you rappers and R&B singers walk like it tough and hard and making all your sign language. And yet some of you are homosexuals. Some of you go both ways. My Lord. You are knock up the women and the men. My Lord. Give me the book of Romans. Everybody all right? I want to arouse the conscience of Jamaica and the whole world. Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1, we'll start at verse 22. Listen. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And what? 
and change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, into birds and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. And? Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness. Wait a minute. Notice what God gave them over to. God also gave them up to uncleanness. Uncleanness is an act. That's right. Whether it's thought or not, That's it's right. an act. It's not unclean in your eyes, pervert. Pervert. All the ways of a man. Do you hear this? Now in the book of Proverbs, chapter 16 and verse 2. Yes, sir. All the ways of a man are... Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. How much? All the ways of a man. How does it look to a homosexual? Are clean in his own eyes. Harry Knox, when I debated dirty Harry. Amen. Hey, Julie was dirty Harry. Yeah. President of the United States, again, Barack Obama, mm -hmm. elected him. To put him on his faith based council. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of the religious advisors to Barack. He represents the homosexual community. Barack is dedicated to homosexuals. Yes. That's right. Did you hear that? Yes. Amen. You folk here in America, you voted for him. Yeah. Before then, he was against it. Yeah. But the devil that was already in him, already in him. changed him. Let me tell you what's going to happen. You can call it prophecy, call it whatever you like. But all of you that are here in Jamaica, all in the balcony, let me tell you what's going to happen. You're going to soon hear on the news in the near future that an open gay man is running for the presidency of the United States. And when it happened, you will remember that Patrick Henry told you. That's right. Amen. That's right. It's going to happen. That's right. Notice that when a homosexual celebrity or one that come out the closet about their gayness, yeah. do you notice how the media praise them? Barack will call them, yes. tell them how brave they are. Yes. Took a lot of guts. All of a sudden, you get on CNN, or oh, you may get on Oprah. <laughs> That's right. That's true. Some type of interview. Yeah. So when you're standing against it, President, at the White House hasn't called me yet. No. I, I wonder why. <laughs> Amen. If you see your government here in Jamaica starting to flinch, starting to bow, all the citizens of Jamaica take to the streets of your government. Let them know you will not accept it. Not violently, but peacefully and loudly. Every religion under the sun that's here in Jamaica should flood the streets, block traffic. That's right. That's right. Because that decision will jeopardize every household on the island. Amen. And it will prove that your elected officials are lovers of Satan and not lovers of God. Yes, I said it and I meant it. It will prove it. Listen at this. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. In his own eyes. But, but the Lord weighed the spirits. All right. Now the homosexual will say, well, Pastor Jennings, that means the Lord Know the heart. The Lord know my heart, Pastor Dennis. I really love this man. Yes, I, I believe you do. You do love him. But it's an ungodly love. God didn't put that love in you. God told you where he put the desire and who he put the desire toward. Back in Genesis 3 and verse 16. This is what God said. And thy desire, thy desire shall be to thy husband. Shall be to what? Thy husband. And what? Thy husband. Unto the woman, he said. Thy desire shall be to no. husband. Unto the man, he said. Unto the woman, he said. Listen, so God didn't put that desire in you, so who did? Yeah. Right. Amen. Who did? God did. I did. Thank God, God did. No. I know some of you.
somebody will write me now. Don't you got something else to preach over there? Not now. <laughs> you don't like it, turn it off. But I have to protect young children like Justin. And what's, what's the young girl named there? Yes. What's her name? Shante. How old are you, Shante? She's eight. Look at all these children. I want all, all my little children, that's four, five, six, up to 13, all of you come to the front. In fact, all of you up to 15, all the little children you come to the front up here and stand all of you. From the back, all of you just stand around and face, face the audience, all of you. Amen. Give my handkerchief up there, right? All my children, come on. Come on. Come on. All of you just go all the way across, all the way over to where the wall is. Look at all these children we got to protect around right here. Who would dare blame me for preaching against, preaching against this? These are your sons, your daughters, your grandchildren. This is the future church. Now, they still coming. Come on. This whole generation, America is threatening them. Come on. This whole generation. Come on. Come on. watching get upset with this you know you love the devil yes. why would you get upset some of you watching got children this size yes. somewhere yes. now me as a representative of Jehovah yes. I represent the I am yes. that I am
represent the children of all the islands? Of India? Of South America? Of Canada? Of America? Of Africa? Of Russia? Of Japan? Of Taiwan? Of North and South Korea? Everywhere. This homosexual epidemic is trying to plague all the kids. They're going to blast it to hell. Right. That's when the man is with the woman and the woman is with the man. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Because now the Apostle Paul come back to Romans and says, To dishonor their own body. Between what? Between themselves. You see, when you got two men, that's dishonorable. Dishonorable. Let me say this. I don't care what kind of ceremony you have. Same sex. Yeah. You're not married. No. You're not married. No, no. I don't care if you think you're married in your eyes, you're not married. That's right. No, you just play it. That's all. It's a mock way. That's right. It's a mock marriage. Fools make a mock at sin. Do you hear this? And the book of Proverbs 14 and verse 9. Proverbs 14 and 9 says, Fools make a mock. Make a mock. At sin. Yeah, you see, when you got two men standing up there, you're making a mockery of what marriage is supposed to be. That's you're right. mocking it. That's right. When two men up there kissing, you're mocking it. Yeah. When two women claim they got married, you're mocking it. That's right. You're making mockery at it. Amen. The Holy Ghost said, Fools make a mock at sin. But among the righteous. And let me say to the parliament here. Amen. If you vote on it, it should be a majority. It should be all that agree. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be 10 to 3. <laughs> no. 20 to 2. No. 20 to 7. Mm -hmm. It should be unanimous. That's right. A sweeping majority. Yes. Anyone that don't vote against it, you are of the devil. Of the devil. That's right. That's right. Then you hear the truth of God. That's right. Any member of Parliament in Jamaica that don't vote against same sex, whether you're a man or woman, you are of the devil. And on your way to hell, you want a political career? All right, when hell hits you, then you will be an everlasting politician. That's right. What is that? Back in Romans 1 and verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Who is blessed forever, amen. It did what to the truth? Who changed the truth of God into See, the a change. lie. Woman to man. They change that truth to a lie. Man to man, woman to woman. That's right. Are you getting this? Yes. Yes. So now, the plague, the germ, the virus, it's been here. But now it's more dangerous. That's right. Because now they are fighting for political backing. That's right. Now let the truth of God make something clear. We're not saying because an individual is homosexual, they should be fired from their job. But if they try to practice homosexuality on their job, yes, they should be fired. Yeah. But you don't hire them because they're homosexual. You hire them because of their skill. That's right. So no, they should not be fired because they're homosexual. Mm -hmm. No, not that. No. Because a homosexual don't because they're homosexual, they don't affect their talent. Or the skill. Right. Just like any other sin a person may be in. But they're loyal or doctor. And if they're able to, if they got skill or talent, then they got skill or talent. But I, I don't have to endorse your behavior. That's right. And we don't endorse your behavior. Amen. So trying to get Parliament to change and bring homosexuality under civil rights or human rights, let me educate you, educate you before I knock off. Human rights was here before civil rights. Human rights is before civil rights. Why? Civil rights you got to have civil rights to govern civilization. That's right. Before there was a civilization, there were human beings. And the right that God gave the human being, man and woman, the right they had was to obey him. That's right. That's right. Amen. Now, God gave and God is the giver of human rights. That's right. Human rights don't come from government. Human rights come from God. Yes. What do you mean? That's the rights that God decided to give a human being. That's 
the human family, what you should do, what you should not do, what kind of marriage to have, what kind of marriage not to have, how to live, how not to live, how to be, what kind of person to marry, how to conduct yourself, what he preach against, he's talking about the human family, what things he don't want you to do. What uh, you should do, those are the rights that God gave you. And when you violate the rights that God gave you, is when you break one of God's laws. Human rights don't come from government. Human rights come from God. So then civilization begin to fall. Man begin to multiply upon the earth. Then governments begin to fall. Then governments begin to implement civil rights. Because what they thought, in their eyes, if people was not civil based upon their standards of what is civil, right. then they implemented a law or laws right. to give them civil rights. Human rights is bigger than civil rights because human rights are the rights of God bestowed upon the human family. That's right. I'm an advocate for human rights. The rights that God gives. I lean to the rights that God gives. That's right. They won't go wrong. I'm not against civil rights as long as the civil rights don't contradict the God given human rights. That's right. God gave the woman who is a human being the right to desire a man. That's right. And God saw man they want to respect that human right. So he implemented a law that if a man lied with a woman as, or rather with a man as he do a woman. The moment he do that, he violated Human rights. That's right. When a man now with a man, he violate human rights. That's right. So what this civilization is trying to do is to make men with men civil rights. That's right. That's right. They try to make same sex civil. Civil. That's right. Because the world know is inhuman. Yes. Yeah. Not the right that God gave a human being. No. That's why man talks is not like God. Man way is not like God. No. Repent, human family. Everything that I hit. Everything that will be watching. Repent. There's a whole lot of homosexuals that came to first trip. Yes, it is. Yes. Repented of these sins and received the Holy Ghost. This is where they should be. That's right. Everything they're trying to fight to get away from, the devil going to keep trying to nag them with it. That's why I have to preach it hard. Yes. Brutal. Brutal. Yes. Bible says, God be rude in speech. Yes. I'm not going to pacify it to make it sound nice and say, oh, it look cute. Two right. men get married. It look like trash. That's right. And Barack had that interview with CNN. Then CNN interviewed Jay-Z. Jay-Z said he's proud of Barack. It was brave for Barack to stand for same-sex marriages. He said because, Jay-Z said because people should not be worrying about another person's bedroom, no way. It, it interests God. That's right. Because God told you who to lay with. That's right. If it didn't interest God, God wouldn't itemize in Leviticus what not to lay with. Now, if a man lie also with Wait, mankind. Let's not just get the human family. Let's see how wicked man is. Now in the book of Leviticus chapter 20, also at verse 15. All right. And if a man lie with a beast. Uh-oh. Amen. Sheep lovers. That's right. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. 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 I say that's bad. That's 
What did the Holy Ghost say? Defile not ye yourselves. Don't go there. In any of these things. All right. All right. Any. What did God say not to do if you're not with a man? Are you a man? Defile not ye yourselves in any of these things. If a woman now with a woman. Defile not yourselves in any of these things. If a dog mount up on your daughter. Defile not ye yourselves in any of these things. If the dog tongue and drag and cross your lips. Defile not ye yourselves in any of these things. Amen. For in all these, the nations are defiled. Go ahead, go ahead. This was written before all of us were born. That's right. This was before Jesus even walked there. That's right. Why did he say that? For in all these, the nations are defiled. Now that defilement is on the rise in Jamaica. And the land is defiled. Amen. What state America is in? And the land is defiled. Canada? Defiled. England? The land is defiled. Great Britain? The land is defiled. Ireland? The land is defiled. The Catholic Church? The land is defiled. Baptist? The land is defiled. Every religion? Man, that don't stand against homosexuality. What condition is that land in? And the land is the Father. Repent. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Repent of your sins, homosexual. That's it. Lesbian. Yeah. Repent of your sins now. Be sorrow about your wrong. That's right. Go before God with a broken and a contrite heart. That's right. Ask God to forgive you and ask God to move that ungodliness out of you. That's right. All of you celebrities that are watching the truth of God, that are homosexual, man or woman, you think it's an act of pride because you came out of the closet? You have challenged the Lord your God by your deeds. That's right. And if you don't stop, you are going to be cast into the lake of fire with the devil That's right. that gave you the love for that man and that gave you the love for that woman. That's right. Repent of your sins and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. When you repent, you're sorry about your wrong. Yes. And you're ready to surrender your will and pick up God's will. Anybody here want to be baptized today? Get themselves right with God. In the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet and come to the front. Come on. Come to the front. If you want to get on God's side and be baptized, come on to the front. All of you that come, go where the brothers and sisters are. All of you that come, go to my far left, where the brothers and sisters are. This is the message. Everybody in Jamaica ought to come out of their churches. That's right. The churches are weak. They are scared to stand for God. We are standing firm. Glory to God with no fear. Preaching a gospel that's given to us from God. And it won't change. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Join Pastor Gino Jennings of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ for our 27th International Convocation and our 31st Pastoral Anniversary at the P.S. DuPont Middle School, 701 West 34th Street, Wilmington, Delaware. Services are Friday and Saturday, July 24th and 25th at 7 p.m. and Sunday, July 26th at 1130 a.m. and 5 p.m. The location again, the P.S. DuPont Middle School, 701 West 34th Street, Wilmington, Delaware. For event information, call Cindy Rawlings at 252-341-9358.
Attention followers of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ in the Bronx, New York area. Starting August 2nd, we are holding weekly services at the Lehman College Campus, 250 Bedford Park Boulevard West, Bronx, New York, Gillette Lecture Hall 226. Services are every Sunday at 11.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Services are free. So join us at the Lehman College Campus, 250 Bedford Park Boulevard West, Bronx, New York, Gillette Lecture Hall 226. Sundays at 11.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. For information, call 252-341-9358. You have been watching the Worldwide Truth of God television program with the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. If you'd like to contact us in the United States, call us toll-free at one 231 2201 In Jamaica, the U.S. Virgin Islands, or the rest of the Caribbean, call 876-963-2093. If you have questions, comments, or would like to order DVDs, CDs, or literature written by Pastor Jennings, again, call us toll-free at one 231 2201 in the United States and 876-963-2093 in Jamaica, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and the rest of the Caribbean. You can also email us at truthofgod@arrows.com or visit us on the web at www.truthofgod.com. Once again, our telephone number in the United States is 1-888-231-2201 and 876-963-2093 in Jamaica, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and the rest of the Caribbean. Peace be unto all. The preceding was a paid program brought to you by the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. The opinions expressed were solely those of the sponsor.